So this is uh, that black tank that I screwed up for my sister uh, by having a, uh, I had it jacked up on a, uh, a floor jack, the whole trailer, and it fell off of the uh, drag bar that I had it on and uh, the trailer shifted and the, the, uh, you can see where the, the floor jack hit right here and it just cracked the hell out of this thing. So um, we've been waiting for a uh, new black tank for a couple of months and there's just no ETA, nothing. I mean, it's just taking forever. And uh, so I just, I was just looking at this and I'm thinking, I'm just gonna fix this thing myself. Uh, I saw another video on YouTube on uh, one way to do this. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this whole area up and uh, get this, uh, all back down into position where it's supposed to be then I'm going to uh, uh, get a wire wheel on it and rough it all up clean it up really well with acetone and uh, then I'm gonna put uh, some uh, ABS epoxy on it I'm going to embed a fiberglass mat in that and I'll probably do several layers and uh, let it all dry and um, and hopefully that will do the trick. This stuff is supposed to be really good. It's called G-Flex. I have it on order. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. So right now I'm just going to get started with the uh, the prep work. All right. Uh, so uh, if you're going to do this, you can you can do what you want. But I'm just showing you what I'm going to do in here. I'm wearing an N95 mask and a face shield uh, because. <laughs> We're talking about dried feces here, so uh, I'm going to be up there knocking it around and uh, and got a wire wheel on there and and that stuff is nasty and you do not want to inhale that uh, that powder that might come out of the crack. So I'm taking every precaution here. Uh, like I said, you can do what you want, but I don't want to inhale any of this stuff. The first thing I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to get a screwdriver and I'm going to try to get this. Uh, where this was all pushed in, I'm going to try to pry it back out and get it all into position. All right, it's all prepped and uh, ready for me to put the epoxy on there. You can see where this uh, crack goes right along up here and it comes up on the side here and it just, it ends right up there. And it's a difficult place to get a, a drill bit in there. I wanted to drill uh, right at the end of that crack so it, it'll stop the crack from continuing. So I, uh, instead of a drill, I used a little Dremel uh, with a pointy, little pointy tip on it. And man, that thing went right through it like butter. So if you have that problem, a Dremel works well. And then uh, on this end, uh, you can see the crack goes along here and uh, comes up over here on the edge there. And then I was able to just use a little drill bit there. All right, I've got equal parts of this stuff mixed together here. And uh, I'm gonna start slapping it on there. This is not gonna be pretty when it's done, I'm pretty sure. But I don't really care about that. I just want it to be sealed up and uh, strong. Strong as possible. There's coat number one. All the fiberglass pieces in there. 
like I said, it ain't pretty. All I care is that it holds it together and it doesn't leak. So uh, I'll come back tomorrow and uh, put another coat on there. And uh, we'll go from there and just uh, hope that this works. Okay, I'm putting the second coat on here now. And uh, the guy in the video I saw, you know, like I said earlier, he said that the easiest way was to do it with, uh, with your gloved hand. But uh, I'm trying it with a paintbrush this time, and I, I gotta say, it, it's a whole lot easier with this paintbrush. It just goes on real easy, and you don't end up getting it all over your hands. So uh, I take back what I said earlier, and I highly recommend doing this with a paintbrush. But um, the way it's dried, it just seems like it's going to be great. It's super strong. It seems uh, really sturdy and uh, just really adheres well. So I have high hopes for this stuff. Okay, so the second coat is now all dry and uh, looks good. I looked over the whole thing and uh, I can't see any cracks anywhere. I'm going to uh, fill it up with water and see what happens here. All right, uh, not a single drop anywhere. Everything's dry. And uh, I didn't fill it up all the way, but I've got plenty of water in it. Good news. Okay, I'm going to fill it all the way up and see what happens. 100% full of water and nothing. Wow, that is awesome. Not a single drip anywhere. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, drive this thing around a little bit and uh, shake things up and then come back and just make sure uh, it's still not, not leaking. If that's the case, we'll call it good. All right, just got this thing back from uh, about a 30 mile drive up and down my bumpy driveway and into town and back and let's see what's going on here. Still bone dry. All right, uh, that's about it. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to smooth it out a little bit and I'm gonna put some flat black paint on it just to, just to make my sister happy. <laughs> it won't make any difference but you know if she ever looks under there it'll look, it'll look a little nicer anyway so anyway I think uh, I think we got a winner here so uh, I'm gonna post this and thanks a lot for watching and if anything does uh, go wrong in the future I'll definitely post something in the uh, in the comments about that so um, uh, I, but I don't think it will. It just it really looks like a solid repair. So I'm a, a new fan of this G-Flex stuff. It's, uh, it's great. So um, anyway, thanks again, and we'll see you next time.